Hey, hey, we're going to welcome in the Sunday sermon with uh, me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to bed. This is Mescoli. We just call, they call him something else, but I call him Mescoli. <laughs> they call him a bunch of things. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Sunday sermons, as you may or may not know, we read from, uh, well, this is a, a bound book. It was rebound at uh, Love Their Press. What year did I do that? This is uh, 2015. 2015. I had this book. It was a uh, a gift from my uh, brother in New York, my fraternity brother, Dr. James Kanye, who sat at the foot of uh, John Henry Clark. Oh, we all did, but you know, he was a little closer than anybody else. And uh, he gifted this uh, book. To, this is the original uh, book by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. The cover came like this. It's, it's a big format. This was the original cover, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And this is the uh, United Independent Compensatory Code System concept, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines as white supremacy. So this was the original 1984 uh, book. And so, uh, it's before you was born, poor baby. But you'll learn. Yeah, it's cut by the... Well, he started, he produced it between 19, 1957 and, and, and 1980. That's what he worked on in the book mm -hmm. and, and a bunch of other things. There's a story behind it. We won't tell the story right now. Um, so this is the uh, first Sunday after a new moon. And uh, it's, it's officially in, in uh, most religions, or a lot of religions, for Easter, Easter Sunday. And so I figured for Easter Sunday, what we will start, we will uh, there... Uh, Mr. Neely Fuller talks about there's nine areas of, of activity, um, mm -hmm. including, uh, I'm sorry, now you have to start repeating after me. That's the, that's the whole thing. This is, we're doing the thing for, for the closest speaking mm -hmm. people, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the book, the book, we're, the book yeah. we're reading from is Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s. The United Independent Compensatory. Yeah, 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 United. United Independent Computatory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm. uh, code System Concept. Yeah, Code System. Concept, yeah, Code System. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a textbook or a workbook. Yeah, textbook or a workbook. For thought. For thought. Speech. Uteta. And or action. No, but for victims of racism. For for Ingolecha Zubangulu. Which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines as white supremacy. Jemo Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. City, white supremacy. For for today's reading, we're going to the original 1984 publication of this book. Since our publication year 1984. And we're going to page 173. So now we're on page 173. This is an area he calls the area, area seven is the area of religion. Area seven, in Gengolo. Now there are, he defines the uh, uh, nine areas of human activity. And why area is nine, is nine, is the activities, is the guy bandwidth. Mm hmm. And they are economics, education, entertainment, law, labor, politics, religion. That's the seventh area, which we're, we're going to deal with right now. Sex is a sound. Is a is a scene. Yeah, it's a scene. And the last area is war counter war. That's the ninth area. So in the area of religion, we will do I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but read a little bit of it, but we're gonna yeah. read a lot. Yeah. And we start with the, oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, oh, why did that, oh, it doesn't want to stay where it wants, where it needs to stay. 
Yeah. I think it's the weight. I gotta change the weight in here. Hold on a second. Hey, you know, we don't we don't edit these things. This is we have to do this right and it will stay where it needs to stay. Yeah. Uh because we don't there's no post production on these things. We do this straight the way it's supposed to the way we wanna do it here like that. Okay, there we go. Oh look, stay back where it's supposed to be. So area seven, religion. The following pages present suggestions. That pertain to victims of racism. We're talking about non-white persons. Okay, that did uh, uh, that should or should not. I'm sorry. Let me go back. Okay. Let me, okay. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, victims of racism. That's a non-white person. Should or should not choose to do in the seventh area, a major area of people activity, which is religion. So let me just repeat that so we can do it right. Okay. okay. The following pages present suggestions. That pertain to what a victim of racism, that's a non-white person. Should or should not choose to do in this in, in the seventh major area of people activity, which is religion. Each person should choose to speak and or act according to one or more of the suggestions presented. But only if he or she decides to do so. No person should speak or uh, and or act according to any suggestion presented. Herein, unless he or she has judged that the suggestion chosen is of current and correct value. In helping to eliminate racism, which is white supremacy. Yeah. Or in helping to uh, to uh, to better promote justice. And uh, well, let me to decide justice meaning that no person is mistreated. Or just as the guarantee that no person is mistreated. And that's what Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines as justice. That no person is mistreated. It is guaranteed no person is mistreated. And that uh, the people who need the help the most gets the most constructive help possible. Also, it's important to know, let me leave it there, let me go into the, 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 the main part of yeah. what he's talking about, religion. Here. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. suggests that you do not argue about and or speak against any religion. 
kuphikisana okanye uthethe ngamnyana enye inkolo yomnye nephi na inkolo except the religion of white supremacy which is racism ngaphandle kwenkolo yobandlululo let me just say here um the Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr. He, he comes on the internet every uh, every two well he's posted on the internet every mm -hmm. Tuesday he does a live program and I've been listening to him for a number of years well, at least since, since 2015 I suppose mm -hmm. um and what he's saying is that there are a bunch of religions in the world but the religion but the well, but he considers white supremacy as a religion and that religion trumps all other religions so no matter what you think your religion is none of them are, are, none of them are more uh, 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 are more impactful or more or, 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 or more powerful than the religion of white supremacy. Now, getting back to everybody else's religion, including white supremacy, I suppose. The book suggests that you, uh, you should uh, be willing to explain to others everything that your religion requires you to do. Or not to do. Or say and not say. As pertains to every area of activity. We're talking about the human activities that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has expressed, the nine areas. Mm -hmm. When religious matters, when religious matters are presented to you by others, explain your religion to them. Ask them to explain their religions to you. Ask them to explain what their religion requires them to do and say. Or, or and or not do and say. In those nine areas of activity. Which include economics. Education. Entertainment. Labor. Law. Politics. Religion. Sex. And war. Moving on to page uh, 174 in this uh, 1984 uh, original edition of uh, the United Compensatory Code System Concept, the book by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. We have page 174. Mm -hmm. well, 85, 84, we're pretty close. Okay. Speak and act to oppose the belief that white supremacy, which is racism, mm. is God's religion. Teta, wenze, upikisana, ninkolo, yobu yobu shanga, iti, iti, ingosi, yue religion, utiko, ninkolo, or is part of God's religion. So you're, you're opposed, so you're speaking and acting 
as an opposition to this belief that white supremacy puts forth. We think it's a young colleague by the little day by Banjuluba in Colonel Banjulu. Again, this is a Sunday sermon where we're, we're doing an extensive sermon. Well, it's a sermon, it's a Sunday sermon. It's like church. Yeah. Even the young Gawa come and stand in the full junior year for an engineer. Now, he has some reasons and explanation for what, for what we just said. Yeah. It has been said that God made white people for the purpose of serving God. And God made black people for the purpose of serving white people. But he white supremacy. Now, this could be true. There is much to indicate that it is true. I want to put in that this indication comes from uh, uh, people writing down stuff on paper and people believing this. If true, however, if there is much to indicate that the smartest and most powerful white people have chosen not to serve God. There is much to indicate that the smallest and most powerful white people, white supremacists, have chosen to subvert and replace God. They have apparently chosen to make themselves God. It is unfortunate, not just, no, no, not in jail. and incorrect, and wrong. for the smartest, most powerful of the people of the known universe to have organized themselves into race into racial classifications now we will learn in other readings that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. says there's only three classes of race there's your non-white people there's your white people and there's your white supremacists those are the three categories and uh, again these so called smart people put this into play and the rest of us accept it ah oh, boy <laughs> not all white people Presumably, are members of a race, but apparently, those who are smarter and therefore more powerful do function by choice. As race members, that would be racist and white supremacists. They have made racism their religion. They have they have made racism into the most powerful religion. 
Among the people of the known universe. And have made themselves the God of that religion. And we must say and convince a lot of other people that this is true. You might ask, why did they do this? Mr. Newly Fuller Jr. says to confuse their victims. They have disguised their practice of racism by using the names and and titles of many other religions. And titles. And special concepts. And social, and social concepts. This has helped them to refine their subjugation. And abuse, an abuse of their victims. They have chosen to have non-white people worship them for being white and supreme. They have attempted to make God and white supremacy one and the same. So why would you might say why would they do that? Well, Mr. Neely says they have done all this for no ultimate purpose than of no other ultimate purpose than to glorify white supremacy, which is racism. And to glorify themselves as white supremacists or racist. The basic speech and action of a racist. Or white supremacist is only for the purpose of promoting falsehood. Non-justice and incorrectness as the functional foundation of racism, which is white supremacy. We're almost, we're halfway through, well, a little bit more than halfway through our sermon. Welcome in, this is Sunday Sermon. We're reading from uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book. Published in 1984. Yeah, published in 1984. And the name of the book is the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. The United Independent Compensatory Code System and Concept. A textbook workbook for thought. Workbook or textbook. Your finger. Speech. Your theater. And or action. Okay, you for victims of racism, which is white supremacy. So for Amakoba Ubanzulul, we white supremacists. We white supremacists. Now if you don't believe you're a victim, 
of if, racism, white supremacy. If then obviously this 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 book is not for you. So it doesn't apply to you. I apply You don't believe in racism, whites, we don't I, believe it exists. I believe you But Mr. Neely Foolish Jr. says something here before Mr. we before we if you do not understand white supremacy, which if, is racism, if I would the white supremacy, what it is, and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you. And Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. said that in the uh, 1971. Why uh, you Now back to what we were doing with page 170. Here we go. Page 175. Yeah, we're on page 175 now, yes. The racists are masterfully and masterfully skilled in the use of deceit and direct violence. It is, it is reasonable to believe that racism does not serve God. Also, there is no reason to believe that a person can be a racist and serve God at the same time. And in the final years, the umuntu agano, finalasi believe on yenjong uba umuntu agano ba racist apin de kwa yena a serve utik. Because if racism does not serve the purposes of the Creator God, uba masi mamas masi understand. It is the duty of the victims of racism, that's non-white people, to people. As well as the duty of those white people who are not racist, to speak and act to eliminate racism. It is also the duty of those white persons who are racist to stop being racist. If these duties are performed, if conditions will then be uh, better for the creators, that's God's, purposes, to be served. I'm going to end here. I'm just going to end by the last thing in this section here. It's this thing that says, yeah. no people should do other than this. No people should be allowed to do other than this. This being end racism. So saith Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. from his book. This is the original book published in 1984. The United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. Why he publisher in 1984, he, he the United Independent Computer Code, System and Concept. 
incwadi lena yokuba mawucinge uthethe wenze ukuba masibula le indaba edibene nenobandlululo white supremacy now uh this book this particular this he republished this book in a in a smaller format like here like Along with a revised edition of this book. In 2016. It also includes a word guide. This book has somewhat of a word guide in the back with the original one, but the New one has a an, an additional book that includes a lot more words. Now we read from this book every Sunday. And usually at the end of the month, the last Sunday of the month. And we will go through some uh, some words in the word guide. But while we're here in Dimbaza, now Dimbaza, because this this book, whoops, sorry, this book li lives in Dimbaza, at the Lahota House. It's a house for thought, speech, and or action. So, to end, it's a community house. To end racism, white yeah. supremacy. Join us next week. When Mr. Tole. And me. Nam. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. <laughs> letting you know what we only suspect.